Hello everybody, this is Eric, and you are watching Oakland Tobacconist. So today we have actually a very special cigar to review, and that is the Casa Cuevas La Bandaria, which uh, I believe means a sledgehammer. The sledgehammer is a 6x52 brushed foot. Uh, it has a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. Underneath you're going to find a Dominican binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan fillers. So it's going to have a lot of it, a lot of that flavor and richness of Nicaragua, but also that smoothness from the uh, Dominican tobacco. It's a very unique cigar. It's uh, sometimes called brush foot or, uh, or uh, shaggy foot. The foot of this cigar has no wrapper leaf for the first uh, half inch. So you're tasting binder, you're tasting filler, and then it moves into the taste of the wrapper leaf. I actually really enjoy this idea because it kind of gives those who say the wrapper doesn't affect the taste much of the cigar, kind of gives them run for their money because if there's any debate, which there is, you can go ahead and try it. It's also got this rustic look to it. It's got a traditional pigtail on the end. So we are gonna go ahead and try this cigar out and see what we're looking at. We're gonna go ahead and do a cold draw on this. We're gonna get like light earth, a bit of cedar. Great open draw, so we're gonna go ahead and light this and we're gonna be tasting first binder and filler and then we're gonna get into the wrapper. Go ahead and get this toasted up. Draw is perfect, the smoke is silk, smooth, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice and pepper, but not too overbearing. So it's got, like I said, that sweetness in the front, a little bit of pepper, a lot of cedar to me, um, and a lot of also earth, like sort of dark earth. Now again, these are the flavors that are prominent within the filler tobaccos and some of that binder leaf as well. And so I'm interested to see where, as we uh, continue on, where it's gonna leave us once we hit that wrap relief. So, Normally with our reviews, we go to first, third, second, third, third, third. I'm actually going to come right back right before we hit that transition to kind of tell you what it's like. So I just hit the wrap relief and that transition's immediate. I remember when I first tried the cigar, I was talking to uh, someone back and forth, smoking and enjoying it, and then it hits me. And then I'm like, whoa, what am I smoking? It's completely different. Uh, it brings a lot of those those notes that are somewhat muted to the forefront. Some of that sweetness, some of that wood, some of that earth. It's it's an amazing transition, and it's a really awesome experience to try that that transition and flavors. The sledgehammer came about because far back, I think 2016, 2017, some, somewhere in that range, um, they had their factory, uh, and in their uh, sorry, their uh, about 2016, 17, somewhere in that range. They had their uh, their warehouse in Miami, and their humidor within their warehouse was butted up against the corner. Well, in the middle of the night, they came in with sledgehammers, beat uh, holes through the walls, and were able to get into the humidor and make off with a bunch of their tobacco. Well, to their credit, Casa Cuevas survived, and they were able to continue, and so they came out as kind of owning that name, the sledgehammer. And that, and that taste and that transition from the wrapper, from just binder and filler, hits you like a sledgehammer. Amazingly. I'm gonna keep smoking on this, we'll get into the second third and I'll let you know what develops on the palate. So we're getting into the second third now of this sledgehammer. A lot of those those bursts of like sort of uh, strength and kind of um, burst of flavors at the beginning is starting to smooth out but very refined. So in other words, not so much muted but more of just kind of like flow all the way through and like as I say the cigar becomes a bit more smooth as we continue through it. On the 16th of October, midway through the month, uh, the manufacturer Luis Cuevas and his um, amazing cigar rep on the west coast here, Smokey Affair, they'll be joining us and we're going to do a Casa Cuevas event. We're going to be running specials and deals on all of their cigars. Make certain that you join us. It's going to be an amazing time. We're going to be on our outside patio have some great cigars together so we're really looking forward to it so we're going to continue on smoking this we'll see as we come down to the end where we land on this sledgehammer
As I say, some of the sweetness really comes out, a little bit more uh, pepper as we're coming down to the bottom, and a little more of a strong, prominent uh, wood note. But it uh, is an amazing cigar, enjoyable all the way down to the end. Hopefully we'll see you at the, uh, the event on October 16th. You take it easy, and as always, stay smoky. Thank you for watching Oakland Tobacconist, where conversation lights up.